Hello, I'm Alex Lapkus. Today I want to talk to you about times of year to target big brown trout, um, the biggest fish that live in your rivers. Now, you can catch one, let me preface all of this by saying, you can catch one any day, any time of year. What I tend to see is some consistencies of when I see big fish more regularly. So I want to talk to you about those different types of seasons. Um, so we'll start off kind of winter, and, and this is upper Midwest, but this will hold true for a lot of fishing around the country. Um, we usually have a big cool down through the winter. Things tend to not be too active um, until we start getting closer to warm up or spring. So January is a little quiet into mid-February. One of the best windows uh, to catch big brown trout occurs before runoff. Um, it's usually the first few days in the spring, the first few warm days leading to the first snow melt or the first accumulation of runoff, dirty, high dirty water. What you tend to see on the front side, and this really, water temp does not make any difference here. What you tend to see is fish go hungry through the winter. And before runoff, they're starving and they start to come out because the metabolism starts speeding up, you're getting longer days, more sunlight. Those fish are gonna need to feed. Now. Before runoff, they have zero food in their stomach. So typically it's a very short window, two, three days a week, um, especially on free flowing rivers. It lasts a little longer in tailwaters because your dam will work more as a, a strainer, kind of preventing more food from running down. So what I tend to see is it's a, it's a but it's a short window. Um, and it typically occurs in the clear water before the high dirty water sets in. Once you get high dirty water in the spring, it's typically cold, which means, and there's a lot of food in it. So the fish are able to feed and then they're able to slow down. Metabolism's very slow then and hang out, take a break. Um, typically that is one of the best windows to get big fish long. They're usually thinner because they haven't eaten in a while, but you, your biggest fish are out then and they're dumb because they have not eaten. The next window that I target occurs when water temp kind of comes out of that dirty cold water in the spring and water temps start hitting 48 degrees. Um, and, and I'm talking about this mainly from a streamer point of view. When the water temp hits 48 degrees, I tend to see, especially if the water's coming down or receding after your spring high water, so it's starting to clear, there's a little less food in the water. And now the fish, their metabolism is starting to speed up and they've got to eat more. So I really like the falling, you know, kind of clear water, as, as clear or lower as you can get at that time of year. Um, and water temps tend to run 48 to about 55, 56, maybe up to 58 degrees. What I see in, in Michigan is a lot of hatch stuff goes on 55, 58 degrees, and I sort of see the streamer bite back off at that point. The streamer bite tends to be really good, especially for the bigger fish I find from about 48 to 56 degrees. Um, another time you can put yourself in a, in a position is, is that time of year in the spring, low clear water, rain coming in. What you tend to see in the spring, especially in, in those water temps as the water clears, when you get rain and the water starts coming up, very good fishing on the rising water. Um, I'm going to talk about more specific conditions within these seasons in, in another video. So right now I'm just going to kind of stick to times of year. So spring, another great time. 48 to about 56 degrees. I tend to see the big fish on streamers, high water events, you know, big fish will kind of jump out and feed at those points too. Um, the next one, as you start to get into dry fly season here, night fishing through the summer, you know, I really start to see our streamer window pick up again. It's usually about mid-August. The days start becoming shorter. Uh, you're, you're, you start getting your first cool nights in the fall. That's a major thing in the fall is falling water temperatures. Uh, in, in northern Michigan here, I start seeing them about mid-August. You start seeing the first few cold nights. You see the water temps start dropping off. Traditionally, they're high te temperatures of the summer, and that jumps the next kind of pre-spawn feed. Um, I would say I catch a lot of fish when the water's a little warmer and that 65, 64 and kind of dropping. I tend to see bigger fish as we get a little later into fall um, and the water temps are more in the 56 to about 48 degree range. That's another time pre-spawn bite, big fish are out. 
Um, they're gonna put on the feed before they go into spawn. What typically happens at 48 degrees and where I, why I draw that line there in the fall is that's typically when they, the fish begin to spawn. I see fish at that point, especially your bigger fish, are more concerned with the act of spawning than any sort of feeding. Um, so I see the really strong pre-spawn bite and at 56 to about 48 degree water temperature until I start seeing the first spawning beds then I kind of see it taper off. The next big bite or big window for those trout, um, and let me say this as well, your pre-spawn fish will be as heavy as you'll catch them all year. They're, those are your big, dominant, awesome looking fish. One of the tricks to getting them to feed is they are full. They're in very good shape health-wise, a lot of them. They're just tapping in a little bit more food before the spawn. So they are a little harder to catch. As we get now on the back side of the spawn, which is another one of my favorite windows, uh, is post-spawn. These fish aren't going to weigh the same, but they're at a point in the year where if they do not feed, they will not survive the winter. Um, you tend to see, I like it as the water temp gets sub 40. Uh, as you dip into the upper 30s to mid 30s, it seems like all your fish are done spawning. That really, I see the spawning end at 42, 40 degrees. It kind of really starts slowing down. And as that happens, more of your hens are done spawning. Therefore, your males are kind of starting to fan out, spread out throughout the system. And they've got to feed, 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 feed in order to get through the winter. You know, these fish go in, in the upper Midwest and a lot of the east and stuff like that where they shut down through the winter. And this is their last big feed last opportunity to eat before their two month kind of settle down time through the shortest days coldest days of the year until we get back into the spring pre-runoff this is a major major time of you know food scarcity not much food in the river so they become very opportunistic big flies um what what i do tend to see is more condensed windows in the winter you know it's it's a few fish here it's a few fish there and then it's a bang up day where you see them all um, that's frontal movements, that's stuff that happens in the fall. Colder water means they're feeding less frequently because metabolism is slower at a certain point. So, you know, there's some other factors to watch within these windows, but if I were to focus four windows to catch the biggest fish of, the biggest brown trout of my life, those would kind of be the four times a year I would specifically target to do that. Um, as I alluded to, I'll do another video where I'm looking at conditions within each of those windows, but those are really the four times a year with your best shot at a giant brown trout. Thanks.